Dungeons and Daddies is a rowdy, horny, violent podcast for grown-ups. Content warnings can be found in the description. Hey, Normal, can we go to the piss shop? What, 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 what? Whoa. I'm gonna fraud somewhere, so I got two digits in your rectum. Whoa. I'm, I'm, I'm hunting, looking for a polyp. This is objective. Walk into the class like, what up, let's do a quiz pop. Now I'm just pumped out to learn here in piss shop. Oh. Stones in the kidney, they are so uncomfy. People like, ouch. There's a rock in my pee stream. Studying hella deep, learning about vasectomies of vas deferment between vasovasostomies. Oh. Here comes my buddy Link, late with the yellow drink. Probably shouldn't run, dude. Wait, no, is that your pee? Piss. Ah, uh, shoot, we got kicked out of class. We be bitching and skipping about to go and learn some daddy shit. This whale is an idiot when we get Wikipedia. Oh. Dungeons and daddy magic, man. I am so lost and stressing and spending my war box. And I'm hearing that we need another key. Oh. Scary, take the Kellogg knife. Scary, scary. take the Kellogg knife. Kellogg knife. Kellogg knife. Kellogg knife. Yeah, we I really, really can't use it. They had a wanna wonder. I got a wanna wonder. Then our badges went off. Time to bring the thunder. Oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, the Ronies on patrol. Tony ain't got nothing on my school pride. Hell no. Oh. Sneaking back at lunch, hit the cool kids' table. My Margarita pizza's like, hey, where'd my finger go? Whoa. I'm gonna fraud somewhere, so I got two digits in your rectum. Whoa. I'm, I'm, I'm hunting, looking for a polyp. This is Jack in the Welcome to Dungeons and Daddies, not a BDSM podcast. This is the story of four teens searching for their lost dads in a world forever changed after their granddads accidentally unleashed an eldritch god. My name is Freddie Wong. I play Taylor Swift, Covenant Ranger, the cool anime-loving prepper teen of the group. I don't even know why I need to say cool. Everyone knows that's implicit Everyone in knows. those adjectives. Okay, yeah. Excuse me, Matt? What? Nothing. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Taylor's teen fact, rad fact for this week, Taylor is a hero. Because one time when he was I a child, he's a cool <laughs> hero. Hold on, let me tell the story, Will. Let me tell the he's story. A thought, he was that hero over there. <laughs> Damn. So here's what happened. By the way, if you don't know this, this is actually a really cool little YouTube rabbit hole. There's uh, oh YouTube God. videos where you can be like, spot the drowning kid. Like, spot someone who's what? drowning. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's for, like, lifeguards to try. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's not to get off to. It's, like, for lifeguards. <laughs> no happening? one was thinking What's that? happening. That can be, no like, literally. Was was just just tell us a fact about <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> so Taylor got really into these videos because he was like, I need to spot, you know, this, the drowning kid in the YouTube video. So he got really good at it because he spent a whole summer just, like, staring at YouTube and trying to identify. Because it's not the usual markers, right? It's not someone screaming and splashing around. It's actually a lot subtler than that. The silent death. You have to know what to look for. That's what they call it. Or Le, le, le Petit, petit Mort. <laughs> my boy. My boy. <laughs> Me and Anthony come in humor. <laughs> so he got really into these videos. And then he's at the local pool. And he spotted a kid who was drowning. What he did as a hero is he stood up and pointed over there and said, Hey, that kid's drowning. And then the lifeguard, you know, like, stopped looking at their phone playing Wordle 2000, because, you know, in the future, there's a cool, crazy Wordle, and dived and saved him. <laughs> Only 2,000-letter words. <laughs> no one has solved it. It's just one puzzle. It's like one of those ancient codexes that still has yet to be deciphered. And it leads to Jim Wordle's secret treasure. <laughs> <laughs> the kid's still alive. Thanks to Taylor's <laughs> eagle eye. He died like two days later. later. Yeah, really yeah. Shark did hit him. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Final Destination shit, dude. <laughs> hey, everybody. My name is Matthew Arnold. I play Lincoln Lee Wilson, the schooled at home sports kid who's tall and tougher than he sounds and is a paladin. So, uh, little... <laughs> everybody just aspirational in your old little descriptions of yourselves. <laughs> Rad fact about Lincoln is that he wakes up very early because he's got to get that workout going, got to get his body primed for the soccer field. And the first 90 minutes, the length of a soccer game once he wakes up it's a no handball zone no handball time so he cannot use his hands for anything he uses, hands he uses his foot he only uses his feet to dress himself which means half the time he's just like in his underwear and like half of shirt on he's, he's wearing those cleats to bed and if he wakes I'm up hearing. late he's the kind of responsible for breakfast because both of his dads work so like he often like you know they put up with a lot of like spilled orange juice and stuff like that but he's trying to get good he's definitely working on his left foot but yeah no he's gotten pretty good with his feet i'm sorry matt if somebody every day for 90 minutes tried to do things with their feet 
they would be so adept with uh, their feet. Yeah. How, yeah. Feet. yeah. Then how did he not get on varsity? We'll find out in another there's fact. More, day, there's more to soccer than just being good with your feet, Freddie. But there's not more to sex. Yeah. <laughs> Lincoln would tell you that it's because the varsity team is mean to him. Man, what if he had a mug that was like, don't talk to me until I've had my coffee and then play with my feet for a third <laughs> Don't talk to me. Can, can we make a coffee mug that says, don't talk to me until I've had my feet? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. No, almost. We should just feet. go full on, just like pervert shit on our store. <laughs> oh, thank I mean, you. like, there's two options you can take for merch. You can either do like cool show theme <laughs> merch or just options. pervert shit. <laughs> and like, I bet you, when I go to Target, I, they say categories <laughs> and they say pervo shit or groceries. Right. Those are the only two 2023, options. we're going to do pervo shit only and we're going to compare how the two stores do. We okay? got an AB. AB test. The only way they can tell. Hey everyone, I'm B Will stands Camp for butthole. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Will Campos. It's for anal, sorry. <laughs> wow, Matt. Good one. <laughs> so A B is anal butthole? Is that, <laughs> you gotta learn anything options. from that. Those are never guessed this episode. We need to clean up this room. I will campus. I played normal oak. Perky Peppy Chipper Cherry School Spirit Mascot Kid nice. uh, slash cleric. Rad fact about normal this week is that normal can't swim. In point of fact, he was the kid. Oh, yeah. 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 But we didn't know that it, dude. That is so sweet. But we he was both the kid that drowned, but he was also the kid in one of the videos it, that Taylor it, watched. It's happened oh to him God. multiple it's times. Happened to him multiple times. That's why Taylor was able to do it. Was it yeah, was just he like, recognized wait, like, it's that kid who was drowning. Yeah, you don't, drowning he didn't actually understand the signs of drowning. He just goes, oh, it's that kid. That kid's prone the to drown. The giant mascot head probably would be another. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Beth May, and I play Scary Marlo. A goth punk seeker of darkness who is not like the other warlocks. Fun fact about Scary, this episode, is that last episode she found Terry Jr.'s note to self that said, what do you do when your arm itches and thought it was some sort of cool like code or something. So she's been working on it. And uh, so far she's plugged it into like several different anagram generators. And uh, they don't allow that many characters, uh, but she's got like a few guesses like uh, ha neurochemistry, munchy seaworther. Let's see what else. Munchy there. seaworthers. There's a bunch of like hoot wood chorus Whitney. Sherwin touchy like and that's just our know, classmates it's me chorus oh Whitney it's, it's all of our classmates oh my god yes <laughs> yeah. Sherman that's touchy what does he have to do with this stay away from Sherman touchy <laughs> it's like the evil Forrest Whitaker oh my god, yes. <laughs> chimer unseaworthy is like personally my favorite but yes nothing concrete jumping out to solve what she perceives as a riddle or whatever I'm Evie Bridge I'm your, I'm your dad I was so psyched to just go straight into it. I forgot I have to do dad facts. Uh, my favorite movie when I was in high school Donnie Darko. was no. Boondock Saints. Uh, no. Oh, God. Reservoir Dogs. Boondock no. Saints 2 All Saints Day. Yep, it was Boondock <laughs> Saints 2 All Saints Day. <laughs> Which didn't come out until you were in college. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he wrote it. He wrote uh, yeah. it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I compared it to my fanfic that I wrote when I was in <laughs> high school. Say no more. Say no more. Beth, uh, because Scary is left handed, go ahead and roll a G100 and see if Scary dies. I got a 94. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, you were six a away from dying. And it's no, immortality. That's is a, immortality. Is a, yeah, hundreds is of hundred. immortality. You and said. if I roll a one, I die. No, you roll zero, a, zero. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> but also roll a what was it? A wisdom save to see if you've masturbated in the last week <sighs> for, okay. the, uh, for the for the Kellogg how, knife. What, what is that? At least looks uncomfortable. I just saw some fan art of me as a furry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so obviously, so I, I can handle anything. <laughs> I think Besh has to roll disadvantage with that information. <laughs> Nine plus three. It's twelve. Okay, so you did not masturbate this last week. <laughs> so your your Kellogg can knife is now two d four damage. Nice. Okay, so as you may have heard before the break, we've got a guest on the show today to introduce Hope that. it's um, not a woman. <laughs> Ooh, I've got bad news for you, Beth. Oh, Ooh, no. Uh, what if she's hot? Uh-oh. Homina, homina. <laughs> a wooga, a wooga. Oh, no. Homina, Beth is doing homina. the Tex Avery Wolf thing. <laughs> Beth, put your tongue back in your mouth. Oh, what is this? A show of perverts? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> So as all of you, my four regular teens, notice that Margarita, the popular girl, is clawing at her suddenly missing finger and panicking, you see behind you 
Another female student, one that you hadn't noticed before, has been looking at the goings on with a bit of fear, but also a bit of familiarity, a bit of recognition in her eyes. You want some too? You got a problem? <laughs> so Elise Willems, our guest, thank you for coming, Elise. Yay, uh, hey, Elise. What do they coming. see when they turn around and see your character? They turn and they see maybe the most popular girl in school. God damn it. <laughs> She, Even Taylor sweating a little bit. <laughs> he should be because Erica Drippins <laughs> is Erica. by she is an angel on earth. We're talking chestnut waist length hair, sparkling green eyes, a body that Beth would kill. <laughs> to, to. <laughs> Just take over. I'm going to go to the gym, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean to have. I meant to hold. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. If you're leering at me. Yeah. You know, I, you know I am always. <laughs> then, then you would not believe Erica Our friendship Drippins. is at risk. Uh. <laughs> really Harry Met Sally vibes going on. <laughs> and, I mean, she's just the total package. <laughs> oh, great. This, this girl. Academically, how is she? <sighs> Total that body. and I mean that's the thing. Is you think you think, <laughs> you think how could how could she have it all? How could she have it all? She does. <laughs> she is the class valedictorian. Oh, she's okay. valedictorian. She's currently running for class president. She's in pre pre med in high school. What? <laughs> okay. How 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 is this possible? Well, I mean, we, we do have a ur urology um, class. So. But she's also the captain of the cheer team, and my God, she is a horse girl. If I, if I saw one. Oh my god, is being a horse girl like really cool in the future? It is, Beth. And now. It is. And, and now. now. Horses will clock her from a hundred yards away <laughs> and they will come running. Damn it. To Whether she wants them to or not. There is nothing this girl cannot do or have or be. Name again? So I have it right here. Erica, Erica Drippins. 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 Jesus Christ. Drippins. Yeah. I'm just saying Demas Drippins. Lincoln yeah. leans uh -huh. over to Taylor. Dude, dude, you should cover up Erica's name on your backpack that you draw all the time. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, dude, she's going to see it. Oh, you're right. You're right. Uh, 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 uh. And I just, it's E-R-I-C-A, and I like add an S in front, and then I turn R-I-C-A into a big X, so it just a sex. <laughs> just a sex it's dripping. It's a sex dripping. <laughs> I'm like, this will this, this will work. <laughs> Scary sees the word sex driven. She's like, fuck, I should have used that. Damn. Like, That's a good band That's name. A good one. So there's still a screaming girl with her finger that just got severed, right? Mm hmm. Oh, oh my God. Margarita pizza. Oh, but, uh, oh, what, what happened? What, what happened to your finger? Dude, I don't know. I don't know. Why is it going? Where is it? Anybody can okay, look around. Okay, just calm down. Just calm down. And I grab, like, as I see this. Calm a, down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, they, I just grab, like, a wad of napkins and I, like, put them on the stump to, like, here, just do this. I'm on look for the finger. Okay, go ahead and give me a perception roll. Don't worry, Erica. I'll find it. I'll find your finger. <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> it's not Erica. <laughs> Wait, it's Margarita lost the finger. Oh, Margarita. Sorry, sorry. I like the no, but you said so that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so flabbergasted. Like, your finger. She's going to find it. That girl's pretty. She's got no finger. That other girl's pretty. She does have a finger. Which one do I choose? <laughs> I got an 11. God, dude, once again with the parade of ones. <laughs> you don't see the finger. I mistake the finger it. for a chicken nugget. You Yeah, you scan the ground of the lunchroom. And yeah, all you find is a chicken nugget. Can I scan for the finger? Go for it. That's a 19. Damn. So a 19, your finger sense fucking pings <laughs> intensely, and you can tell that that finger is nowhere in this room. Uh, guys, the finger's off this world. What are you talking <laughs> I didn't about? Say that. I'm saying it. I should, <laughs> I'm saying it's gone. I don't know where it is. It's Link, the finger's that gone. Makes no sense. It's not Link. anywhere. Look, if it fallen, I would have been able to kick it up straight to my hand because I'm stuck <laughs> there. It's gone. It, it's, it's not here. It's not in this room. That's pretty metal, actually. Can we investigate the source of the horn sound? Roll another perception because it happened really quickly. So you'd have to be able to remember where you heard it from. Three. I got a 19. So you could tell that when you heard that horn noise, it came from the less popular corner of the lunchroom. Ugh. Like where a lot of the nerds, a lot of the computer kids, a lot of the band geeks, all that stuff. Wait, can this be the sound? <laughs> uh, no, it can't. Okay. I lock eyes with Erica Drippins and I say, Erica, my cheer team colleague, you're pre-pre-med, can you help out here? Erica looks over and she just kind of shakes her head really briskly. <gasps> what's Erica, what's wrong? What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? Mm. 
She just kind of shakes her head and, and turns away. I'm going to guess that, like, one of the people that's even less popular than you, Fricos, killed Margarita Pizza or whatever. You're so, Margarita, are you okay? R.I.P. for having our hearts so <laughs> mad. I'm, I'm not dead. I just, I'm bleeding. I'm missing you. It's I almost like she's still here sometimes. Anyways. Me... <laughs> what? Did you feel something? Like, what happened? Like, Well, like, I can tell that from, like, the other corner, you know, there's people like me that are, like, cool, but, like, nobody recognizes it yet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then there's people that are, like, like, less cool. I think one of them did it. Well, we got to check it out. Yeah, I'm going to go shake him down. While she's doing that, I'm going to do a medicine check to try to staunch the bleeding of this severed finger. Go for it. Oh, I got a uh, 20. Okay. So, yeah, you put the correct amount of pressure on the, the correct amount of paper napkins on yeah. the severed finger. <laughs> the exact That's number great. of paper napkins recommended by the FDA and the bleeding stops. So, she goes, oh, I'm going to go to the nurse. I'm going to go to the nurse. This is fucking gross. This is so gross. And then she gets up and just heads to the nurse with her other popular friends. If someone finds friends. my finger, just like bring it to the nurse's office. Put it on ice. She's really popular. She's really popular. So there's a bunch of really pretty people following her. Is she on her like the side? Like, what, what's, give me more about her. Okay, so she's the <laughs> soccer team. She does varsity she's Tony soccer. Daughter, she's Tony right? Pepperoni's daughter, She's Yeah, she's Tony Pepperoni's daughter. Pepperoni Tony's daughter. Pepperoni Tony's the daughter. The vice principal. What is this show? It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> In answer to your question, it's bad. This is a bad it's, show for bad people. one of the worst. She generally is the star in most of the the theater productions and she like actually is pretty good at acting like people don't go out of pity they go because like she's actually good and makes like the yellow boat it's watchable like- I said last episode that we've had dinners at Pepperoni Tony's house. Yeah, with with the vice principal. I feel like I've seen the Margarita. Auditorium, I feel like Margarita gets like pulled into these dinners, so I've seen her every once in a while. I kind of slip over to her as she's walking out. I say, "Hey, hey, Margarita, we're quick," and I look around to make sure nobody sees what I'm going to do. Yeah, I think you just do it with okay. stealth. I, I think you roll stealth it? to do it and see if people notice it. Okay, well, I got a one. I'm still going to do it. <laughs> I put my hand over her hand, and I'm going to do lay on hands, the Paladin spell. I'm going to heal her. Heal finger. it. Okay. I'm gonna make her finger come back. Oh wow. Wow. Whoa. So everyone, everyone in the lunchroom sees this happen. Hey, hey Marguerite, just don't, don't, this is really weird. The stuff's going on with me right now, but I just, I don't want you to lose a finger because, you know, you're such a good soccer player. And I know fingers aren't the most important thing, but like, you know, you should have a finger. Um, Here, check this out. You touch I mean, her. all five of my HP, I'm assuming is, I don't know how much hurt that finger was. I'd say it's exactly five HP. Okay. Wow. Nice, I did it. You grow her finger back. <laughs> Scary is in the middle of like berating the uncool kids like, <laughs> What do you mean she's got all f- 10 fingers? Look at her. And then it like turns around and like. Oh. And then you see, yeah, everybody in the, in the lunchroom turns and sees Lincoln touch her, which is like just a weird thing to do. He just like puts his hand on her and then her finger comes back. And immediately Margarita goes like, oh, gross. He like took my finger and then put it back on. What did you, ah, ha, dad, Whoa. dad. What? And she calls for Pepperoni Tony, the vice principal uh, to come in. She screams it, in fact. In my head, Pepperoni Tony's coming in with the same energy as like Vince McMahon. When he like, you know, <laughs> talking about like, that saunter. like, that saunter, you know? Like uh, right before he tore both his quads. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he, he kicks up at <laughs> the door, sauntering like he did before the Royal Rumble when he tore his quads. And Damn. He's, uh, he sees, uh, and he sees he Erica, because all vice principals are familiar with the most popular and cool and intelligent kids in school. And he goes, Erica, what's going on? He sounds like Vincent Command now. <laughs> mm. Mm. Something's going on. What's, what's yeah. happening Something's with your wrong mouth? Something's wrong with what's, Erica. Wait, what, 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 cut your tongue. What's going on, Erica? Mm, 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 mm. Can I roll perception to see if there's something wrong with Erica? Yes. Can this episode Fucking be I'll called We Need to Talk God, About 19. Erica? 19. Yes. Whoa! Hey, I got one just a second ago. Yeah, Erica good. is missing something uh oh uh oh in her face area uh oh is it her tongue something is awry in the land of Erica's face she does see you and beckons you over to her okay Beckon, I walk over beckons, beckons you all to come okay. talk to her guys there's something awry with, with Erica's <laughs> face <laughs> Erica be aggressive be e <laughs> Oh my god, her tongue's been cut out. <laughs> when he said that, we all go, aggressive, we just have to do it. <laughs> aggressive. I'm staring at, like, this st- stupid anagram generator, and I see one that says, Hermie Unworthy, which is definitely a student name, and I stare at Hermie yeah. Unworthy, the student, and I'm like, I know you did something. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> Erica cannot believe that she is beckoning the kid over with the anagram generator. <laughs> but she does. She's kind of hanging back in the shadows. And really, for this girl that usually is a social butterfly, she does not want attention on her, but she's trying to discreetly call you all over to her. I run away from Tony because he looks scared. I guess we're just going to run over to Erica. Yeah, Erica and Tony are basically... Tony Pepperoni came in, <laughs> saw his daughter screaming over like a puddle of her own blood, presumably, and was like, oh my God. Erica, what's <laughs> that's 
that's how that's her reputation. At this yeah, she's school. the most she's, important person. She's school. dramatic. I mean, he sees a girl with ten fingers who's got some red on her who is screaming, and he's like, "Ah, oh, girls will be girls." <laughs> but he's really standing stay next to Erica, what a teenage girl who's not talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Talk, Something's talk, talk, talk. Right. Don't you know girls? So he goes, "Hold on, Eric. I'll be back to talk to you more later. I'm gonna go talk to my daughter, Margarita Pizza." And then he does his Vince McMahon strut over to Margarita Pizza and leaves the scene briefly while you guys talk. Uh, I hand Erica a piece of paper and a pen to write with. <sighs> Erica takes the pen and the, and, the, and, and the pad and... She thinks she's being so cool and mysterious. <laughs> God damn it. Scary quiet Erica's talking. <laughs> <laughs> she writes, I need your help and holds it up to you. She needs our help. Taylor takes this like Cupid's arrow through his fucking heart. He's <gasps> And he like rushes over and like bends the knee. It's like, what do you, what do you need? She goes to write again. Use my back to write. <laughs> I put the paper on Taylor's back and hand you the pen again. And Taylor flexes to make sure that's a good sturdy surface. <laughs> and Link tries to like give Taylor like a knee, you know, so like to cut, because he can tell he's kind of struggling in the position he's in. Like it's an uncomfortable kneeling position. And he's definitely like shaking. So he kind of so like puts, like, so he puts so it. So he's <laughs> leaning for her to write on and then you put your knee out yeah, so that he can like him. lean on you. Yeah, so he can kind of lean on me. I'm trying to help him out here. So you're both kneeling. <laughs> I'm very tall, only, so I got like my only leg, leg based solutions <laughs> to problems for Link. Yeah. yeah, actually, I was so strong, I just lift my leg up, and he's he's running. I'm like, this is like a good workout, anyways. <laughs> scary, are you involved in this? I scary's mind is racing. She's like, can't believe she's getting more attention than me. And then, and then, you, you say that, but Hermie unworthy is staring only at you. <laughs> silly, she talked to me. I think she the- likes me. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I feel like Hermie's so worthy. <laughs> Hermie's literally kneeling behind. You. Yeah, Hermie's <laughs> kneeling behind the, t- the lunch table, just staring. Guys, he's working on the anagram too, hoping that he gets solid for you. <laughs> he's trying to see if there's an, an anagram that has scary plus Hermie in it that he can show you. <laughs> Scary's like. My stomach hurts. Mm. <laughs> and looks up to see if any of her friends are. Well, scary. We'll take care of that later. But Erica needs our help. <laughs> Fuck. Hermie runs forward, holding Pepto Bismol in his hands that he has from his backpack. Hey, if your stomach hurts here, here's, I have here's, enough <laughs> I'm prone to diarrhea. If your stomach hurts, you could you have some of this. That's such a bold teen move to be able to say the word diarrhea with your amongst your. I'm peers. not scared about my own body. I have no shame. <laughs> I. Yeah, thanks, Hermie. Glad to see some people still care about other people. <laughs> he immediately blushes and turns away and goes, she loves me. Uh, 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 the next day you see him and Goth sitting underneath a tree. In the <laughs> and just She'll come around. <laughs> She'll come You're around. You're my rival, but I respect you. <laughs> <laughs> May the best man or iguana win. Well, Erica's writing something. At the- well, after- Beth got what she wanted. She got all the attention to her mouth, America. <laughs> Uh-oh, using Beth instead of scary? <laughs> Not the move, Matt. <laughs> Not the that move. The joke. Anyways. Well, Erica sees scary with the attention grab, and she nods because game respects game. <laughs> <laughs> but after all this preamble and presentation, she takes the pen to write and realizes it's out of ink. So she throws it over her shoulder, and just frustrated, she talks. I need your help. Oh. Okay. What, what, what's up? You, you, what's going on? Can't you tell? Do you have a brain freeze? Can't you even notice? Now we're talking. Your tongue's gone. No, you oh. idiot. Shit. Did you not realize that I'm missing my entire front teeth? The three, oh. the three boys all look at her face for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. Sorry. You absolute sorry. piece of shit. Sorry. You garbage man. I'm bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> you trash goblin. <laughs> Excuse me. My, my not teeth, teeth are up here. My teeth are up here. Or they were. Oh my God. What happened to your teeth? Where are they? Great fucking question, Einstein. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, what, what do you want us to do about it? Yeah, this is something for an orthodontist or something, Erica. No, I mean, I can give you some referrals. This is a yes or no question. And you can nod. Are the forces of evil involved? <laughs> How am I supposed to okay, know? Okay, then yeah, I don't know if we can help. Yeah. Taylor Taylor is like still turned around offering his back is like pulled out his phone and it's like What's future Yelp? Give me another Yelp. It's not real Yelp. It's uh Jowl. 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 It's, he's, he's on Jowl looking for dentist reviews to be like, well, I'll recommend a really good dentist for her. Well, Fry, my dad is a dentist. We have a really nice house 
and two <laughs> pools. God damn it. Two <laughs> pools. Yeah. Do you guys like to swim? Because if you can help me, there's a lot of swimming in your future. <laughs> I fucking love oh Erica. God. I've oh been wanting God. to do an aquatic routine for Teeny the Team. This, I, but Norm, I need the rehearsal space. Norm, you can't swim. I know, but I want to <laughs> learn. I can't swim, but Teeny the Team can. He must. Oh, God. We'll do whatever we can to help you. When did you last see your teeth? <laughs> well, it's a few days ago. A few said, days ago. My teeth were here, and then all of a sudden, they just weren't. And Oh, my God. It's been Awful. I've been living like all of you rejected a pariah of society. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, Erica. I think that my social standing is pretty well secure with me and my, the cool kids, but you know. What's your name again? Take a D6 sure. of damage. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, I'm just going to roll how much that, that really shattered fucking Taylor's world. That really sucks. Lady. Normal's mind is racing. Full is six. Full oh, six. Yeah, 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 that sounds about right. Are you in death right. saves? <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, half health now. Good. Erica, now this is very important. Before your teeth disappeared, did you hear a crazy trumpet sound like the one we just heard? Can you play it for me again? Yeah. I mean, no. yeah. Beth, Someone... it's not the air, it's not the air horn bath. It's the skeleton with the horn bath. We established that, Beth. It's not that bath. Yeah, that's the one. God damn it. Damn it. Motherfucker. I'd recognize it anywhere. <laughs> That's weird. That's not the one I heard. <laughs> Maybe, guys, 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 boys guys, and girls boys, hear it boys, differently. I think, I think there's more than one villain. At no, play. there's just one. <laughs> there's just one. Maybe girls hear things differently than guys do. That would explain a lot. Yanny. <laughs> um, oh, Yanny. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yanny. 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 Oh. Yeah, bar roll. Yeah, oh. I heard it say it. God damn it. Um, can I try? Hey, this is going to sound weird, but I just, um, Margarita's finger, I just like regrew it. Can I try fixing her teeth? Oh, yeah. He's good at growing stuff back. Do you want him it's to, weird. Do you, what do you have to do? Like poke her in the mouth? Like, I don't. I, think I just have to like touch you somewhere. I'll touch you on the shoulder, obviously. Or like uh, maybe on your teeth, where your teeth were be. Can I open your mouth up with my hand? <laughs> your teeth were. Maybe you backed out on my fingers. I know it's weird. But I'm just trying to help you. <laughs> How about a handshake? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want to shake my hand? Uh, I guess so. I have a really big class president speech yeah, coming up in the next worry, few we'll days. Sure. It's, a, it's okay, Erica. We'll cover this. And then Taylor no, like, see opens it. up his like coat to like shield this handshake from view. It's like you gotta be careful about your campaign. And, and who you're associating with. Are you the school flasher? <laughs> well, no, no, that's not me. <laughs> Ew, I heard about you. <laughs> Her Hermione Worthy goes, yes, my secret identity is what they say. <laughs> They'll never find me out. Hermione Worthy looks over at Scary and is like, do you think that makes him cool, Scary? <laughs> do you think it's cool yeah, that he's I, the flasher? Would that, be, would that be cool or uncool? Oh, Quick question for a friend. Oh, now you want my opinion. <laughs> Yeah, so we should shake hands. Well, from what I've seen, Scary is clearly the most popular of all of you. So oh, I'll really take hard. her advice. Yeah, scary take a d6 of damage. Yeah. <laughs> I take three damage. Okay, cool. That she can't sense. help but like Erica now. Yeah, it's devastating. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my, my stomach, it doesn't hurt so much anymore. I guess I've, I've somehow been strong enough to really press through. I'm pretty brave. Well, I'm sorry, was your stomach upset? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think uh, she's, should she shake my hand or not? Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> sure. I mean, I could do it. <laughs> oh, okay. You I could do shake what? Your hand. Wait, you can throw <laughs> fingers back too? No. Yeah, just do it. Okay. Okay, fine. I'll shake your hand. Just bring back my teeth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, stay, <laughs> I stare at her and I shake her hand. Uh, I keep shaking her hand and nothing happens. Yeah, well, because you've already used hands your lay on hands. works like once a day. It's right? once a day and I can only do it five times. Um, Wait. Uh, maybe I, I, do think, I do think it has to be near your teeth. I touched her finger. I really think you should bite down my hand. What? I, I, it seems like it does. I mean, uh, all right. I'll tell you what. I'll just poke one of your gums. Uh, okay. Nobody's going to see. Come on. I'm shielding everything from public view. So it's, you know. Um, I guess I'm desperate. Okay. I touch her gum with. What in the <laughs> hell is going on here? Uh, Pepperoni Tony sees that you have your hand in Erica's mouth and he goes, what perversions are you enacting what? upon our valedictorian? It's not what it looks like. Yeah. I don't care what sir, it looks like. I'll sir, normal oak here. Hello. Uh, we're just trying to grow this young lady's teeth back. We request a little bit of distance and space as this involves special properties that my faith healing friend here has. So if you could just relax for a second, sir. Sure, it's okay. I can handle anything. Riding a horse broke my hymen. <laughs> <laughs> Is that he Im he immediately, Pepperoni Tony immediately turns on his heel and leaves. <laughs> you don't even have to roll for that.
we cut to you all in detention. <laughs> and for some reason, Marguerite is also in detention with you. As you were walking to detention, you turned around and you saw Pepperoni Tony uh, talking to his daughter and being like, <laughs> and he points to detention. So she's there now to him being like, this is bullshit. This is gross. And then she's going through her backpack trying to get something to like dab on her, on hey, her Margie, finger. how's your finger? Oh, let me show you. And she flips you off. Well, I, um, okay, I know you wow. did this, you weirdo. You probably gave me this too. And she pulls out a letter from her backpack. It's all crumpled. That says, do you like me? And a big box for yes and a big box for no. And it's all crumpled up. And she goes, did you give this to me, you pervert? Because the dance coming up on Friday, is that what you wanted? No. And then you somehow did some weird like magician trick with your finger. Everybody knows you're a freak now. You're a weird finger oh. pervert now, by the way. So congratulations on that. Wait oh. a second. Marguerite, you're making sense here. I got one of those letters too. What? Do you think it's this perv ball gum toucher? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I didn't write anybody a letter. Sent it to? I think he must. Oh my God. Are you trying to play the field? Are you okay. just asking <laughs> out a bunch of girls, you little okay, you gum touching all, pervert? Oh my God. You touched my gums. Got me into tension, and I find out you sent me this creepy note. I slowly get closer and closer to scary, the only female friend of this group. <laughs> That's I'd be like, oh, and I, I'm like <laughs> farther and farther away. I'm like, like, I, I, I reached out and, and put an arm around scary and I, pull her closer to Marguerite, look, I, and I stay I, away from her. <laughs> okay, it's clear that I'm making you feel really threatening. I was just trying to help. I'm really sorry. Okay, uh, why don't you guys? Well, I'm just going to sit over. No, I'm in detention because I deserve it. So I'm going to sit down right here. And did I, I just get sit a down. note? Did you get a note? Not yeah. yet. <gasps> Dang, brutal. Sucks. Damn. You didn't lose a body part yet. You yeah, even lost Herman, a body part wait, but um, even Herman didn't She takes one. out her journal. She's like, detained in the darkness once more. Scary cuts off her own finger. It's like, guys, I lost it too, and I got a note also. <laughs> Erica, Margarita, can I take a look at those notes for a handwriting analysis for just one moment, please? Normie and you, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. What did I do? I let you hold me from the bottom <laughs> in a triple jump. <laughs> And these are the kind of people that you can start with? You got, yeah, but you got the wrong idea. We're all San Dimas high school teens here, okay? We're all trying to figure out what happened to your teeth and her finger. And, you know, if anything, the fact that you and I have done so many cheer routines means you should give me a little bit of trust, frankly, I feel, the same way I trust you, you know? Boys, let me take care of this. Okay, Erica. Normally, I would not be anywhere near these, like, school spirit, you know, sort of thing, which means I wouldn't be near you either. Anyways, <clears throat> anyways, um, oh, fuck. I'm asking you to trust me. Uh, can I see your handwriting? It will make you feel comfortable to look at my handwriting. You can see this is how I would write it. Producing exhibit A, and I walk oh, over I have to the note that I gave Scary asking if she was going to join the soccer team. <gasps> yes, we have, in point of fact, another note. And I snap my fingers at you to give me the note. Yeah. Okay, Normie, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt on this one. But if there's any funny business, I'm talking to Coach Brown about removing you as a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> but Teeny the Teen. Teeny the Teen's the base of the pyramid. He's the, the base of the pyramid. There's no pyramid without Teeny the Teen. We'll see you about that. <sighs> Okay, guys, this really needs to go well, okay? I cannot have this taken from me. Not like sign spinning, not like capoeira. <laughs> this one's gonna stick. Capoeira. <laughs> it's a dance fighting. <laughs> it's so cool, guys. I'm not very good at it, though. Okay, look, I show Link's handwriting and I compare it to the handwriting and the notes. It is not even remotely similar. Okay, so is that good? I don't know, I'm getting really frustrated. Like, I just, like, I, I healed you, Margie, and, and and then, like, you, I tried. I'm sorry, I'm not a pervert. I'd like to um investigate the handwriting for clues. Okay. I'd like to just take a closer Sherlock Holmes look. Roll investigation. I got a 13. Okay, so with a 13, you can tell that it was ripped from a booklet of some sort. College ruled or regular ruled? Yeah, it's it's it is, it is not uh, ruled at all. It is a white piece of paper. A white piece of paper. It's torn. It's like one What edge color? Like this is very important. What color is the pen? Does it look like a sparkly gel pen or Ooh. does it look like a number two pencil? It is a black pen. Are we talking curly letters? Are we talking like, what's the quality of the handwriting? It's slightly serial killer-ish. It's a little like scraggly handwriting. Hmm. Like uh. it's It's got Beverly with an E in it. Oh my God, yes. What is Beverly that? Misspelled. That's, That's uh, a Robert jinx Durst. reference. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, scary. When you went to that table. You went to the table. The Do, table of losers. Where, I, why did you go there? To investigate who had taken Margarita's uh, finger. Who? What sort of kids were there? Real freakos. I'll tell you, you what. Were any of them? Um, 
we all have different opinions of what the horn sounded like, but like, <laughs> were, were any of them? Did anyone have a trumpet? That were could any of them like band members off? there? Or? Scary. Can you roll either perception or investigation? I got thirteen. Okay, so with thirteen, you could tell that yeah, there were band people in the nerdy area where you heard that sound from for sure. And quick question: How many kids were in that area? In that area, there were about fifteen kids. Okay. And it of was them, teeming with them. It was everywhere. And five of them were in the band. There's a bunch of band guys. Well, band yeah, folks? and not like the cool guys that I was asking to be in my band, and not oh. like the band, like my band, Butthole Ricochet, mm -hmm. like no, like clarinet. <laughs> wait, the yeah. coolest instrument wait, there you, is. Wait, you have a band named Butthole Ricochet? <laughs> yeah, it's uh. It's kind of like a little bit of this, a little bit of this. It's really punk. Um, we've been working on a few songs. We just finished one called The Cowboy's Acquaintance, but that's that's like, and then she <laughs> she like waits to see what their immediate reaction to The Cowboy's Acquaintance is. And so Normal just says, so about the marching yeah. band, it feels like we should. <laughs> wait, oh, my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Odds are this note came from within the school. And we do have everyone's handwriting. We just need to break into the ledger books and get in everyone's homework. And that way we can find a definitive handwriting trace sample. You're on to something, Norm. Yeah, well, maybe we start with the, the band, band school because like, it's a trumpet. So, like, that makes sense, <gasps> right? Is there a stack of permission slips somewhere for the band trip they took Wait last year? Wait a second. Year? I have the solution right here. And Normal rushes over to his backpack and pulls out last year's <gasps> high school yearbook from his freshman year. Oh! Which, because Normal is the one who walks between the worlds, the one who walks between cheer team and marching band as the school mascot. Shit. He has deep ties in both communities. Says, <laughs> Every member of the marching band community signed this yearbook. And you can Holy see most shit. of them say, like, go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> but, go fuck yourself, man. No, it's it's not even, you don't have that much. They, they nothing you. It's just well, their no, names. It's, it's just names. They, just, they all drew dicks in there. Hags all the way down. Yeah, yeah. Have a great summer. Just a bunch of have a great summer. <laughs> it's just a bunch of hags. Yes. So the note says, do you like me? Oh, shit. Hold on. Wait, well, none of which has none of the letters. Wait, 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 we need to cross-reference the letters. Do you like me? Yes, no. And then the other one says, have a great summer. So you have E, you have A. Well, no, except it just says hags, because that's the acronym. Yeah, <laughs> so right, why, the S to go why don't we just send out like a pamphlet to everybody that says like, hey, after school, there's free pizza. Do you want it? Write yes or no. And everything right. Yes. But either way, we'll get them all to write yes or no. We'll get everybody's, you know, you can compare the yes and no. In the meantime, I would like to do an investigation check on matching the handwriting to the yearbook. Give me a, a roll. It's going to have to be pretty pretty good considering you only have s to go off God damn i got a three <laughs> yeah no no dice i just plugged do you like me into my anagram machine <laughs> <laughs> i knew <laughs> and the name it spells is erica dripping <laughs> <laughs> The name it came up was dookie mo oil <laughs> <laughs> scary that's amazing i'm looking for a new campaign manager <laughs> <laughs> but wait i was your campaign manager <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Take another D4 of damage. <laughs> three damage, I'm down to three. Do you think you'd be up to the challenge? You awaken a lightness in me, Erica, but I would prefer to stay in the dark. I understand. I'm gonna pass. But what was that, But I Taylor? don't think that Taylor should do it either. <laughs> no. Well, no. Uh, if, if you can move on from me as campaign manager, but I think, Norm, you are on to something. Erica, you are by far the coolest and most popular girl in school. We'll say that you had to leave lunch today because of injuries. And we'll send around a card for a get well yeah. soon poster. Oh. And now everyone will sign it. And then we can use that to compare the handwriting that we have here from this note. Hell yeah, let's beat up Erica. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess that's a good idea, but the only problem is if anybody finds out about my teeth, my popularity is going to plummet. Well, what's the most popular injury you can have? <laughs> Everybody, look, Erica, it'll make you feel better, and I already feel bad about like touching your gum. Why don't we just get a piece of paper and give this to the 12, the varsity team, and just write a piece of paper that says, is Lincoln a perv? And then you write your name, and you write yes or no, and you send it around the school, Lincoln. and everybody will write yes or no on it, and we can settle this once and for all, but most importantly, we'll figure out whose handwriting it is. That well, is an amazing <laughs> idea. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's a good one. Okay, great. In the meantime, I go to the <laughs> Chicklets dispenser at school. Yes, yes. Uh, you go to the sponsored Chicklets oh, vending no, 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 machine. No, no, no. There's that one kid 
who is running like a bootleg shop out of his locker, right? That's you ever Dookie that Moe Oil. <laughs> yeah. Dookie, Dookie Moe Oil. Oil. Sorry, Dookie it's Oil. Three kids. It's like Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Like, I'm Dookie. I'm Mo, and I'm Oil. What do you want? You want chiclets? I go to Mo, who's the chiclets connection of Dookie Moe and Oil, and I ask him for two of the whitest chiclets he has. <laughs> what? You don't want any flavors? No cinnamon? No peppermint? What are you, a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm a virgin. I want white chiclets because I'm a virgin. Dookie, never get a load of this virgin. <laughs> uh, so Mo gives you two chiclets. And and then I say, Erica, here. Whoa, 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 we haven't talked payment. Listen, Mo, do you have any idea how much juice I have with the student council? I could get this whole operation shut down tomorrow. So how about you Ooh. just kick the chiclets over and I look the other way? Roll intimidation. 16. <laughs> Mo goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't need to bring the fuzz into this. <laughs> oil, oil, what, what was I saying again? And oil goes, what you were saying was, let's just be smooth and cool and let this one go. Let it just stay on his slate, right? I'm oil, the slick one. And, oh, and Mo goes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right. Yeah, those chiclets, they're on the house. They're a gift for me. Just remember the favor that me, Mo, did for you. <laughs> and Doogie goes, Doogie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now back to your scene. Okay, I hand Erica the two chiclets. I say, now these are these are just temporary. This is just in case you need to flash your iconic Erica smile to inspire the team before the big game, and we will get your normal teeth, and then until then, maybe I've got it. You're taking a vow of silence until girls field hockey goes all the way to state finals. Actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Erica takes the chiclets and she wedges them up into her little Ow. gummy ruts. Oh. oh no! And then she turns and she. Did somebody say my name? Said gummy ruts. <laughs> <laughs> Get and out of here, gummy. <laughs> no. She flashes you all a. Three dollar <laughs> smile. That's great. Very under smile. How does it look? It's so good. You look amazing. Really? It's pretty dark. Minty fresh. Yeah. Look I, like two chiclets in your mouth, honestly. Oh, oh, look at, what? I'm just I, being honest with you. I guess it's helping with my speech a little bit. Well, well there great. you go. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's crazy how much of your speech goes through your two front teeth. <laughs> okay, so while you were doing all the chiclets and stuff, I'm assuming Link, you'd secretly manage to disperse the is Link in well, a we pervert. Well, we should probably start with you all. It'd be really helpful if you wrote no instead of yes on this, but like, Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, what, is, what is each person going to write on this is Lincoln a pervert? <laughs> is Lincoln Cole. a pervert? And then a nurse writer says that you write your name and then you write yes or no. <laughs> it starts with Lincoln and he writes no. And then I hand it to normal. Here you go. Just uh, write your name I, and write yes or no. Normal writes no. He's a really cool guy, actually. Oh. Exclamation mark. Taking oh. up two lines. Thanks. Thanks. Um, Norm. Scary writes. No. Oh. And we have to put our real names on this? Yeah. <laughs> Taylor writes no, but then puts in a different name. Okay. And, and then, Erica, if you do, that will really give this this whole sheet of paper uh, the, the credit it needs to go around the school. <laughs> John Hancock. I write in a third column of maybe, and then I pull a portable laminator out of my bag, and then I laminate it on the fly. Oh, my God. What color, what color gel pen oh. did you deploy? Pink. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, great. Wow. It's, it's basically in the future. All technology stops being your smartphone for everything, and it just goes back to like you've got an anagram generator <laughs> yeah. and a battery operated. It's like in Battlestar Galactica, how like the future paper is just with the corners cut off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it's because all the NFT monkeys became self-aware and they had to like go to more low-tech means <laughs> to keep things away from them. So if you just send this to the varsity team, they'll definitely just get it going. I'm also texting my dad, Marco, be like, Dad, you might hear some things about. <laughs> 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 don't believe it i yeah. love you <laughs> taylor goes like i got it in with those kids i'll take that and i'll grab the, oh, yeah, i'll right. grab the paper I forgot and the varsity soccer team loves the anime Link, kid. don't worry in the meantime if this thing goes south you and i can we can generate a nice statement for you okay if this was a show the camera would stay with the remaining four people and you see taylor leave screen and then way in the distance off camera here well, well, well. <laughs> 12 times. And I hand it to him and I go like, get this as many people as can. I want everyone's signature by the end of the day. We're going to ruin Lincoln's social life. <laughs> that is essentially the Hood Sucker proxy uh, montage yeah, but yeah. instead of the hula hoop it's just this piece of paper and everybody's like <laughs> signing <laughs> it. <laughs> Have you heard the scoop? A lot of people picking up it and going Whoa, and then nodding and then writing yes and writing the name and then yeah. Whispers in the lunchroom. Who is the kid? He's the kid that touched yeah. that girl's gums. Yeah, people, what do you think? It's the gum boy. He's Ugh. the one who peed the on the cum teacher. Boy? He's yeah, the, the one the who boy. peed on the teacher. The he gum toucher proxy. Gum Touch her piss boy? Oh god. Come touch her piss foot. Oh, come touch her piss foot. Yeah. Cutting back to the school newspaper room where they're trying to come up with Lincoln's new uh, nickname. What do we call him? What do we call him? Uh P it's like a pee boy? Pee body? That's nothing. They're in the newsroom, they're in the newsroom, like, we don't gotta get sorted in. There's nothing around the school. <laughs> the Somebody kicks up the door. Like, guys, guys, I got it. Stop the presses. Does <laughs> Principal Pepperoni catch wind of this campaign? Yes, he does. Oh, the no, the, the note comes to him and he goes. 
Ugh. And he writes yes and writes pepperoni Tony on it. That's the one that's going to hurt the most. He comes to dinner. Yeah. He does. He knows me. What I think is great about this is that the school newspaper functions essentially as a tabloid rag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the idea of having school tabloids? <laughs> Insane. What's it called? What's our school tabloid called? Newsies the musical. <laughs> a tabloid. A tabloid. It works really fast because they publish it digitally. Um, <laughs> on, it's just a Twitter account. On, yeah. on all of your anagram generators, you get an update. <laughs> <laughs> which, is a pic- which is a picture of Lincoln like shrugging like eh. is this and boy a pervert is, 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 yeah, it says gum toucher piss foot pervert <laughs> and then there's also a picture in the, uh, the Newsies the Musical article that has a picture of the poll itself and you can see all the signatures and everything so why doesn't everybody roll investigation or perception uh, I'm not going to roll I'm actually just rolling knowledge to see if I can count what the, <laughs> what the actual, the, what the actual yeah, yeah, what the breakdown was I have for my go bag one of those uh, magnifying glasses that used to start fires. Okay. So like a magnifying glass. So sure. I can like, examine closer. So I light it on fire. <laughs> Are you looking at the handwriting? I'm looking at the handwriting. Okay. I got 13. You got what, a 13? I, do I get a sense of what the percentages yes. are? With a 13, you can definitely tell that it, the majority of the votes are in favor of, yes, you are a pervert. But yeah. because of the 13, you can also tell that a lot of these people don't even know you and just think it's kind of funny to write yes to a question like Aww. that. Like, no is obviously not the funnier answer. So... Of the people that know you, majority of them have said no. Not all of them. The, the newspaper put out their own skewed push poll that is just, <laughs> is gum toucher his foot a pervert? Yeah. <laughs> Which kind of skewed the results a little bit. Erica feels bad, so she leans over to you and says, you can count the maybe as a no. Oh, wow. Thanks, Erica. It's the only maybe also. Everybody else is pretty <laughs> sure. And I get 22. <laughs> all right. So with your 22, you can see that a band member named Abe, he just put his first name down. He writes yes, and it is an almost perfect match for the notes that both Erica and Margarita received. Killed them all, of course. He did the same (laughs) S symbol for his S in both answers. You know from looking at your yearbook, Normal, that he is in band, and he plays the trumpet. Abe G-O-U-L. Abe Ghoul. Abe Ghoul. Man. Abe Ghoul. This is our guy, I think. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a dick, too. Sounds sounds like like we should give Abe a little visit to see what he did with your teeth and your finger. What if it's an anagram? (gasps) (laughs) What if he's not really Abe Ghoul? Let me log it. I mean, there's a student named Abe Ghoul. Yeah, that's his name. No, Eric, I don't want a discount. Maybe there's another kid that is the anagram of Abe Ghoul, though. (laughs) What? Abel Hugo. (laughs) Is there Abel Hugo in the school? No. Uh, <laughs> damn, it must be Abe Ghoul. <laughs> well, hurry, because my teeth are starting to melt. <laughs> <laughs> the door kicks open, and Pepperoni Tony comes in and is like, you're, you're staying in detention for a long time, you pervert, pissfoot, gum toucher. Uh, Margarita, you're out, obviously. But I don't know, even know why I put you in detention. I'm sorry, I had a, it was a lapse in judgment, but you four, you five. What about me? I'm, I'm very disappointed in you for hanging out with these perverts. You were going to be... Class valedictorian. Well, I guess you are class hey, valedictorian. Can't hey, take that away from you. But. Hey, Tony, I'm the only pervert here. Don't say that about my friends. Okay, so you want to just you stay and then everybody else goes? Yeah, I mean, I probably, that makes sense. Pepperoni Tony, look, I know that you and I have not always seen eye to eye vis-a-vis the budget for the mascot outfit and for the cheer team and my various initiatives to clean graffiti and improve the school. And I don't respect you at all. And I think you're bad and a bad influence (laughs) on everything. But I do acknowledge that you're in a position of authority. And I think you'd be interested in this. And I show him the evidence we found about the notes. Roll persuasion with disadvantage. Because the evidence is we heard a trumpet and this kid wrote a note to a girl. (laughs) We heard a trumpet (laughs) and this kid wrote a note to them. I got a natural one. Okay, so he says, okay, both of you are staying, everybody else can go. And he sits down and is not asleep and is the detention officer who is going to look over. So he allows Erica, Scary, and Taylor to leave and just stares you two remaining, uh, Normal and Lincoln, down. And he goes, you're going to sit out the rest of the day in detention and you're not going to be perverts. I cast blindness okay, on, great. on um, Pepperoni Tony. Okay. Make a constitution saving throw. If it fails, the target is blinded or deafened, your choice, for the duration. At the end of each of its turns, the target can make a constitution saving throw. On a success, the spell ends. He got a natural one for his constitution saving throw. So immediately he is blinded and he goes, what? What? What the hell? You see nothing, Tony. <laughs> okay, guys, like. All right, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get out of here. What's going on? Hey, uh, hey. Is this allowed? Yes, it yeah. is. Let's get out of here. I'm I allow gonna, it. I'm going to close the door behind us. As we leave, I leave behind my phone and 
press play on one of the many voice memos I've left of like me workshopping new cheer ideas. <laughs> so he thinks that I'm still in the room and just like thinking up cheers. And then all of a sudden your mom comes in the recording and is like, honey, hey, it's dinner time. <laughs> oh, oh no, my uh, mom is mom is here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Get yourself together, My wife's Tony. not the only one who can send text messages. <laughs> it's, it's, it's time to get revenge on my wife. <laughs> he spits in his palm and like slicks back his hair. <laughs> so where are you going to go now? You have the one guy who was on the lookout for you who's now trapped and blind inside the detention room. So you have your run of the school. I think we should go find Abe Vigoda. Yeah, let's find Abe. Abe Vigoda. <laughs> Does anyone have class with Abe? I mean, what? we can just go to the band room. Let's go to the band room. Somebody just give me a straight D20 roll just for luck. Natural 20. Natural 20? Oh, wow. Yes. Ooh. Fuck. Okay. So with a I natural 20, you've come in during what is both the, the private time. Uh, literally, yes. The free the free period for the band room where nobody's using it, and Abe Ghoul's free period, his like study period, essentially, mm -hmm. so you can do whatever he wants. So as you approach the band room, the band room, like all of the main buildings in this school, is a portable building, which is to say that basically it's supposed to be temporary, but because the school was poor, it's just like, oh, it's permanent now. So the actual campus of this high school is mostly outdoors, and you just go from portable to portable. So the band room has its own portable unto itself, and there are a couple of different entrances into that portal. You feel something change in the air. There's an energy, there's an electricity. You feel the sauce coming from the band room. Something uh -oh. is awry. And the lights in the band room are dark, and you hear, one, two, three, four, five. One. Careful, two, someone's three, fucking around with five, four time in uh -oh. there. <laughs> it's the, it's it's the marching five, band's baby. curse, the it's curse of time it. signature. There was a 12 trombone pile up at last year's marching band regional challenge because of a five, four time signature goof up. It was a disaster. <laughs> Before we go in there, and we're going in loaded for bear, right? Loaded for what? No, oh, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> cast thaumaturgy. Okay. I don't think we go in through the front door. I think we go check the windows. So with your natural 20, I'm going to say you don't even have to roll stealth for this. He's just obsessed with what he's doing. So go ahead and roll perception. 16 plus 4. Wow, okay. So you can perceive that there are four piles of something in a sort of a pentagram kind of arrangement, and there's one empty spot. You can see a single finger. You can see uh. a couple of teeth. <gasps> you can see a lock of hair and you can see some fingernails. Uh-oh. He's walking around them saying, one, two, three, four, five. And as he gets to five, he's getting frustrated. And this guy wrote, I'm a pervert. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this... <sighs> Takes one to know one, I guess. Erica, are those your teeth? Can you tell from here? I'd recognize them anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> We have to hurry. I think this might be some sort of weird science situation going on. I think he's trying to create a dance girlfriend or something. Let's get in there. <laughs> I think the move is simultaneous entry from multiple entry points. I'll take the secret door that only the popular kids are made aware Wait, of. Wait, what? <laughs> 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 it's like those apartment buildings in cities that have like the entrance for the rich people. <laughs> the VIP entrance. The VIP the entrance. Okay, cool, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, so then Erica disappears off to her entrance. <gasps> okay, great. Yeah. Where'd she go? You literally can't see if you're popular. <laughs> can I cast divine sense? Sure, what does that do? I can detect good and evil. I just want to know if they're evil. You can no, definitely detect that this person is evil. Really, okay, Matt? This person is chaotic. Hey, evil. Want, Look, know, the level the, one the spells world? for clerics and paladins are like, is there a thing there? Okay. <laughs> Taylor, the world's a little more gray than your animes, okay? Okay, it's not just good and evil. I just wanted, we just killed people Damn. last time. I just wanted to double check. Maybe the MAs you watch. I just, <laughs> wanted, I just wanted to double check. I just want to know what we're getting into. And so anyways, um, I, it's very evil in there. It's bad. Oh, so I'm so sorry. I didn't mention this, but when oh. he's walking around going one, two, three, four, five, he's holding a trumpet in his right hand. What does it sound like? He's not playing it, but he is holding it. <laughs> wait, the trumpet. No! I point at the trumpet and it makes that sound. I point at the trumpet like, wait. That was the trumpet we heard, right? That was yeah. the trumpet they heard. I'll bust in through the window. I I'll open do the, the door. second window. Okay, we're out the windows. Link, you take the emergency exit. Oh, okay. And I run around the school in order to get to the emergency exit of this building. Okay, so it sounds like we're going into initiative and that you're all going to get a surprise round. Ooh. So why doesn't everybody roll initiative and this that'll like determine some XCOM 2. The order that you start and then tactical. he'll go at the very end. 14. Five. Five initiative. I got a 16. I got a one plus two, that's three. Okay, Taylor, go first. All right, so Taylor, 
making entry through the windows. Like you open How? it or you shatter <laughs> something? I have thaumaturgy. I'm going to throw thaumaturgy to just open things up. Oh, that's Great. cool. The window flies open as I do like a parkour Kong. Do you know what those are? No. It's like when you do like you leap over a it's, thing. It's right? So a Kong is when you jump and you put both of your hands on it like a cat. And then you leap off of the ledge into a cool. Thing. So like a video game where I'm like getting over my cover. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. And I do a fucking just the dopest pose. I do like a that roll. Sounds like an acrobatic. Yeah, role. that's definitely an acrobatic yeah, yeah. check. I know. Let me just continue <laughs> describing. <laughs> really calling your shot here with how well yeah, first this you goes. roll and then you see how well it does. No, no, no. First I roll, then I roll. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you psychopath. The plan is to Kong into a forward shoulder roll, and as I do so, I draw okay. my sword cane out. Oh god. Okay. Make your acrobatics roll. Uh oh. Three plus one, four. <laughs> All right, you eat shit. So do, <laughs> and stab do, yeah, do you impale yourself on your sword cane? That's the real thing. If he had a natural one, he would have, but no, he just, he's going to eat shit. You're not prone after you try to Kong in. By the way, I didn't draw the sword out. That's what it is. It's the sword cane got stuck on the way yeah, in. Yeah, the sword threw my there. timing off. <laughs> yes. So you were inside the room. You were not within melee distance of Abe. And you just ate shit and you're knocked prone. Uh, is there anything you can do while you're down there? You know in samurai movies when they like use their thumb and they just flick open their sword and you just uh -huh. see the blade a little bit? Uh-huh. I do that. Okay, great. Athletics roll. Athletics roll. <laughs> some roll. I can yeah. do some roll. If you don't sleight get a natural one, you won't cut yourself. You cut your thumb. Slight of hand. Yeah, sleight of hand, just don't get a natural one. 15 plus one. Okay. It makes a cool shing. Shing. Pretty yeah. cool. And the sun hits it just right and it blinds. <laughs> no, you gotta go and 20. Then halfway across the world, your arch rival turns over his shoulders like it's <laughs> an it's ill begun. wind portents. <laughs> his steel tasted air. <laughs> uh, normal. Normal opens the door and walks in and says, Abe, what's going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> he walks between worlds. <laughs> and he goes, Oh. Normal, what are you doing here? What are you doing? What's all this stuff? What do you got? <laughs> What's with the teeth, man? What? No, get, get out of here. Get out of here. No. Okay, he starts lifting the trumpet to his lips. Uh-oh. I have the Wand of Wonder mm -hmm. from last time. All right, I'm okay. going to just wave the Wand of Wonder at him and see what happens. Remind listeners. What is the it's wand? basically a wand that has seven charges. You cast it, and it does a random effect. Is what it's like it the beans. Oh, okay. It's so a little bit like it's, it's a big fat D100 roll. Okay, okay so cool. yes, I'm going to cast my Wand of Wonder. So I rolled a 28, which on the chart means... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I cast stinking cloud. Just like an oak. Of course. That's such Are an oak serious? move. That's what the dice said. 26 to 30, you cast stinking cloud. So what does that do? This is a third level conjuration, a 20 foot radius sphere centered on a point within range, which would be yeah. Vagoda. You create a 20 foot sphere of yellow nauseating <laughs> gas surrounding a point within range. The cloud spreads around corners and its area is heavily obscured. Each creature that is completely within the cloud at the start of its turn must make a constitution saving throw against poison. On a failed throw, the creature spends its action that turn retching and reeling. Creatures that don't need to breathe are immune to poison. It's saying that a moderate wind will disperse the cloud after four rounds. So at the start of his turn, he will have to save to make sure he's not nauseated. Normal's like, oh, 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 all right. Well, yeah, just cut it out. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, it is Erica's turn. Is Erica affected by the stench? She smells fantastic. <laughs> uh, when you in head general. in, you will see the stench and you can choose to move into it or not move into it. I think 30 feet is not enough to automatically hit you in the popular kid's entrance. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't use deodorant, right? No. Oh, she doesn't need to. <laughs> she doesn't need to. Yeah. She has an aura that actually dispels bad yeah. scents. Erica enters the room from where we're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but everything goes slow motion like in fucking Can't Hardly Wait when Jennifer Love Hewitt comes down the stairs. Yes. Oh. And despite her just slack jawed appearance she still looks radiant she pulls from her bag a horseshoe uh oh whoa okay and she poises as if to throw the horseshoe Ooh, an eight then it hits but because you didn't beat his ac you only do half damage so 1d4 three Ooh. that's how it's done that's, <laughs> that's how it's fucking done <laughs> so the horseshoe <laughs> hits she has a roll dice but she did it was incredible horseshoe hits him in the in the shoulder and it goes ah. <laughs> And it does exactly three damage to him, which is like not a whole lot, but enough to piss him off. Do you want to do anything else on your turn, Erica? Look at you, little pervert. There's more where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, berate him, berate him. Give back my teeth. She reveals three other horseshoes. <laughs> <laughs> but where's the horse? And he goes, no, they're mine now. You didn't need them and you didn't deserve them. Just like you don't deserve me. Uh, oh. I uh, mean, none of us deserve this. I mean, yeah, this. you're kind of right. <laughs> oh, yeah, but like, I'm, yeah, but no, fuck off. Um, all right, Link, it's your turn. So Link blasts through the emergency exit door. What's the thing, you, the trumpets, the balloon, mute, the ball like in front mute. of the... A mute. A mute? A mute? Yeah. It's kind of like a ball, right? I mean, are There's you doing two. like 
There's Damn. the plunger yep. mute. There's like a silver mute. There's a cup mute. Like What's the a- closest thing to a soccer ball? Just the regular mute. He sees it right away and he goes, no handball today, bitch. I'm going to kick the mute into the trumpet. Dude, it's just like aiming for the corner of a goal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Give me a dexterity check with disadvantage. Okay, disadvantage. The first one's 16 plus 3, 19. Okay. Ooh. Uh-oh. <laughs> the long pause just tells us everything. Yeah. It was a fucking natural one. Oh, oh, no. No. Crit, crit. So you kick. I just kick a desk. <laughs> no. Very hard. You kick the mute up into your own fucking face. <laughs> oh, you kick it in your open mouth. It goes straight into your mouth, and now when you talk, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, yeah, Aww. so you roll a d6 of damage. That's how much damage it does to your face and yeah, pride. That's wrong, kid. That's a five. So you take five damage as you on. mute yourself, and you're not going to be able to talk. Are you in death you... saves? I'm on death saves, but that's about half my health. Scary, it is your turn. My plan is to hop in and then slide across his little shrine on the floor, because I feel like that would disrupt it or whatever. Oh, no, you're going to uh, slide to like, try to kick everything aside? Yeah. Okay. Slide tackle. A dirty slide tackle. A dirty slide tackle. Okay. And then I'm also just going to have my knife on me in case anything comes up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go ahead and make me an, either an athletics or an acrobatics check to slide into that stuff and okay. fuck it up. Oh, I got a natural 20 and I have plus four acrobatics. Ooh. Wow. Okay, so you get to determine what that means. What do you think happens with your natural 20? I slit his throat. And- <laughs> no? Okay, I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> In regards to sliding and tackling these four items on the ground, what do you think happens? I just look like really cool. <laughs> okay. So you successfully managed to kick everything oh, you aside. Maybe you kick her teeth back into her mouth. Yes. Okay, That's good, great. Matt. Yeah. No, no, no. Damn, Matt. The stinking cloud doesn't affect you. And yes. Yeah. Yes, you slide under the stinking cloud. <laughs> oh, it's as like you... when the slow mo axe flies over the yeah. space. Yeah. Like an action movie. Yeah. One of her hairs goes into the cloud and it sizzles like a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you, you slide under the cloud, you slide tackle all of the assorted bits of woman uh, <laughs> <laughs> across the floor out of the formation that he put them in. Bits of woman. That's, That's going to be Beth, my I new you, single. <laughs> you, just, you just got the title for your next poetry book, I think. Assorted bits of, bits of woman. woman. Your crossbows with Mitt Romney. Abe looks and sees the pieces scattered and goes, no, what are you doing? It becomes his turn. I'm going to roll to see if he saves from Stinking Cloud. He does it. He goes, oh, the, he, I collect pieces of women. You think I'm not used to some weird smells? Uh, I'm disgusting. Oh, no, not God. from women, because I'm disgusting. I don't oh. shower. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. It's, a me, it's a me being gross uh, thing. Don't it, worry got about it. it. Got it, got it. And he goes, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And he points at the hair, and he goes, a little bit of Monica. And he points <laughs> at the teeth, a little bit of oh, Erica. No! A little no! bit of Rita was all I needed. A little no! bit of Tina was all I seen. A little bit of Sandra in the sun. A little, and then your anagram device in your pocket goes, alert, alert. You misspelled Abe Ghoul. It didn't have an H in it. Reconfiguring. Lou Bega. No! <laughs> and he goes, no! and he, <laughs> he said, a little bit of Jessica here. No! And then he points at you, Scan. He goes, a little bit of you makes me your man. No! And he puts the trumpet to his mouth. And he goes, the trumpet. No! And he, <laughs> no! and he, blow, and he blows into the trumpet. And... He disappears, and there's a pop. Just like Lou Bega, he vanishes, <laughs> he vanishes from, from sight. Uh, so everybody roll perception or investigation. I got 18. 18. Seven. I'm still reeling from two. I'm Sorry. still really annoyed that I didn't do my cool. I got a seven move. as well. 14. Erica and Scary, you hear the trumpet, and then you hear a pop. Scary specifically, with your 18, you can tell that that pop is from the sound of air very suddenly rushing into a space that is lacking air. Like a vacuum was just created there and the air went back in and that's what made that pop. And with your 13 and your 18, both of you can hear that he is outside the building now trying to run away. Hey, that pervo is outside. Did he get the teeth? Did he take the stuff with him? No, he's just running. Oh, okay. All right, well, we got the teeth back. That's the important thing, right? Is it? (laughs) Erica, I have your teeth right here. And I'm like... (laughs) No, she kicked them into her mouth. Yeah, she's already yeah. had his teeth in her mouth. Yeah. Oh, no, whose teeth are those? What the <laughs> hell is this? Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you just go around collecting women's teeth? No, no, no. <laughs> You're as bad as him. No, no, Erica. No, that's not what. That's not at all what's happening. You got a lot of explaining to do, buddy. <laughs> is Comet still going? Comet is still going, okay. so it's Freddy and then Will. Well, and I tried Lucy. giving back Erica's teeth, but it turns out that teeth already in that head. You know what I'm saying? Turn so, complete. All right, turn complete. Turn. Everybody stand back. I'm going to try to fire this thing off one more time, and I aim the wand at Lou Bega as yeah. he's running away. Okay. And uh, we'll do another dice roll. I can't believe you got us with this one. Right here. I'm, 
It was almost stinking cloud again. I'm not joking. Oh, okay. I cast detect thoughts on the target you chose. Uh, so I Let's hear. Not. I hear what's going on in Lou Bega's head. Take uh, a D12 of psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's like a he's like monster guy now, right? He's got the sauce. So you take a lot of psychic damage because inside his head, you have to deal with simultaneously the horribly catchy song Mambo Number no. Five. His <laughs> incredibly gross <laughs> womanizing Anthony, thoughts. Anthony, Anthony, stop. Mamba number five, parenthetical, a little bit of dot, dot, dot. <sighs> Damn it. Was that the, the full name of the song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. That's give great. It the, give it the is full it, name. I have to ask, is it a little bit of or is it a little a bit little of? A little bit okay. of, thank right. God. Okay. Something. Okay. You hear the song, you hear his horrible womanizing gross thoughts, and you were correct as you came in. He was trying to make a girlfriend for himself to the go to the dance with girlfriend. out of the pieces. A perfect girlfriend who already exists and her name is Erica <laughs> Bedrivens. You also feel the poke of the doodler, like somebody was urging him towards these thoughts. Some horrible, chaotic being was urging him to take these thoughts further and further and do the horrible thing that he did with this magic. Something was giving him that information and that magic, and you know that it is probably the nefarious power of either the doodler or one of his acolytes. So that knowledge Beaming directly in your head causes you to take a D12 of psychic damage. Okay, so I take six damage. I'm bloodied, so my nose starts bleeding, and I jump up and down and move it all around. <laughs> I shake my head to an eldritch sound. I put my hand on the ground and take one step left and one step right. It takes up one to the movement. front and one to the side. <laughs> that's all your movement right there. Yeah, yeah. it's all your movement. <laughs> and that's all my move action. So next turn, I will clap my hand once and clap it twice. And if it looks like that, then I'm doing it right. Does he also maybe hear, is he like, Thinking about where he's running to. Yeah, he's yeah, thinking. Do me a solid. <laughs> yes, sorry. He is thinking he's gonna Work shed. run. <laughs> he's gonna run home essentially and figure things out. He goes as long as I've got this trumpet. The trumpet. You can feel the way the trumpet works. <laughs> Basically, as long as he can hold a note in it, time stops around him. Ew. The way he was taking all the so fingers like, and everything. He stopped time and ripped her teeth out. Is yeah. that what? It, well, oh my <sighs> god. Yeah. So that's what he did. Stunned <laughs> silence. So from now the it is Erica's turn. I make for the popular kid's door because mm -hmm. I'm going to try to get out and chase him. Okay, cool. And you run through the snack room and the extra bathroom. <laughs> and a horse is just there waiting. Yeah, yeah there's no. a horse waiting <laughs> for you. a beautiful white <laughs> you, you, Do you stop at the stables? Because if so, you'll be able to catch him in one he turn. Has been my you ride a horse to school, many right? Dangers. I do. So, okay, so yeah, your horse is in the stable. You can catch up to him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you can catch up to him in one turn if you if you mount the horse, but your horse will now be in some sort of danger potentially. Oh, jeez. Well, you know what they say, you know, a ship in the harbors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, that is what they say, Frederick. <laughs> a ship in the harbors. What they syndrome. say, red skies at night, horses delight. <laughs> yeah. so that's what they say about horses: the ships in the harbor. Well, I, I take fair a horse and following seas. <laughs> <laughs> one horse if by land, two if by sea. <laughs> I take the popular kid passage to the stables, which also the regular kid cannot see the stables oh, yeah. and I mount my horse and then I say run fax shadow <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I pull out another horse shoe because I'm going to try to bean him make an attack roll 11 so an 11 will hit him I am now rolling my 2d4 of damage I got a 6 okay so he stumbles as you appear behind him with a horse. And he goes, oh no, it's the most beautiful horse and the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Link, it is your turn. Lincoln, as he ran and Scary yelled that he was running, Lincoln just starts sprinting after him. Yeah, he's got them legs. Yeah, he's got them soccer legs. He's tall, he's 6'3", so he's got a big stride. If you want, he stumbled, right? He did stumble, so you make it up to him. I just pin him to the ground. Make a strength check. Kick his trumpet away. 15, oh, that's a good idea. Take his weapon and then take one. his weapon. Oh, wait, no, 15. Yeah, 15 <laughs> oh, my one. God. 16. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a trumpet. A Sin City reference. <laughs> In 2022. <laughs> In this economy. In this economy. <laughs> so you got a what now? 16. Okay, so with a 16. Yeah, I want to run and I want to kick the trumpet away from him and then just collapse on him. You can do one of those things. Okay, I'll kick the trumpet away from him okay. as hard as I can. Cool. You do a running kick and you expertly poof that trumpet right out of his hands and it clatters to the ground and starts to slide across the pavement. And he goes, no, my whole thing. Oh, no, the reservoir. Oh, it fell in. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's ahead of him. And Scary has a turn to do something before oh, no, Abe can try to- trumpet acid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple of kids are coming from the science lab with a big tub that says trumpet acid <laughs> on it. <laughs> 
Oh, the new construction yard is going to fall down and the they pit. Dro- they drop it, and the trumpet acid starts slowly oh, spreading yeah. towards the trumpet. Oh, and no. so Abe has one turn to get to his trumpet before the acid gets to it. Scary, your turn is next. Okay, for my turn, I'm going to put the trumpet in the trumpet acid. <laughs> you, the trumpet acid yeah, is far baby. away from you. You'd yeah, have to baby. sprint. I'm going to sprint. So. You would have to. You can reach him. You can't reach the trumpet I'm physically. I'm going to slit Could his Achilles. Could she throw the trumpet at the Okay, trumpet okay that's something. Go ahead and roll to slit his Achilles. Oh. <laughs> How did he go from the trumpet to the trumpet? Fuck, I got a five. Okay, so with the five, you do a little bit of damage. You're going to do 1d4 of damage to him. I do a little bit. A little bit of, da- a little bit of damage, damage to his one. butt. A little um, bit of tendon gonna cut. cut. All right, so you did three damage. Dead. So he is, he looks <laughs> fucked up. Like, you you hit him on the butt, and, like, it bleeds way more than it should. He's like, oh, God, oh, no. But he hasn't fallen over. And God. on his turn, he's going to run and he's going to try to do an acrobatics roll to dive and see if he can grab the trumpet before the trumpet acid hits it. What if he does that, like, Charlie Chaplin thing where he goes to grab the hat, but he kicks it? <laughs> That's always funny. <laughs> he would if he hadn't gotten a 19. God damn it. Oh, no. So he grabs the trumpet and he goes, the trumpet, and he puts it to his mouth <laughs> and he blares into it. And suddenly <laughs> your horse uh, <gasps> it's front, no! its front two legs, their tendons get sliced, and it oh my God. and it tips forward, and its head hits the ground, and you get thrown off Our of cat. the horse. Wait, do I land face first? Uh, you go ahead and roll acrobatics. <laughs> Are you break your teeth again? <laughs> oh no! Or yeah, it could be, but it could be a cheer front handspring. Yeah, a seven. Okay, so with a seven, yeah, you land onto your head, onto oh, your face. Okay. So go ahead, take a d six of damage. Oh. Can I do like a dexterity like response? Depending on how far she's flying through the air. Oh, yeah. In seconds, can I try to like catch her or like stop her from hitting her head? Okay, sure. Go ahead and make an acrobatics or an athletics check. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got a seven. Aww. Okay. So, yeah, you almost grab her. So, you're really close when she, she falls into the ground. Up touching her gums. Yeah. Again. <laughs> <laughs> I That's kick it. you in the gums. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On the way down, you kick her in the gums. So, now your foot uh, has been in her mouth, Ray, too. I've been trying to give you the benefit of the doubt on this. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a four. Okay, so you take four damage, and you see Abe reappear actually pretty close to you. So he's within range of all of you now, and he's breathing too hard. He's like, oh, fuck, oh, my breath is, I, oh, I thought I could hold that note for longer. Shit, he's still in range of everybody. I'm assuming that trumpet acid burns more than just no, trumpets, no, no, right? No, 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 it's just no. for trumpets. Yeah, Matt, it's very Matt, particular acid. If it wasn't that, they would call it just acid. It would I have mean, said acid on the tub, but they have a tub specifically of trumpet dissolving acid. No, don't get me wrong, you can fuck up a trombone, but... <laughs> yeah, 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 the whole brass I'm section. that if somebody told me that they fell into a vat of trumpet acid, I would be like, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. and they would be like, oh yeah, I'm fine. Oh, okay. I mean, battery I'm acid does more damage than just batteries. batteries like, yeah. Battery acid is not for dissolving yeah, batteries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Battery acid Oh. is what powers the battery. Do oh, not drink the trumpet no acid. Battery acid is for making villains. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you fall into the acid, you'll come back as Trombone, trombone. Man. Okay. Trombone Man. Okay. It'll be the killing joke uh, origin story for you. Wow. And it goes, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> All right, Freddie, it is your turn. <laughs> so I'm now here, and I'm going to slow walk towards an out-of-breath Abe, and I'm going to be like, taste my Hanzo steel. Okay. And I'm going to draw my sword cane, and then single expert Zato Ichi ass move and try and like slice the trumpet. Okay, cool. Just give me an attack roll. Natural. A fucking a 20. Oh, God wow. damn. Which means not only do I oh, draw, I also go. get to put it back in one fell swoop <laughs> and then nothing changes. And then you just hear it sing. And then, the, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. so fast. Yeah, you go like, oh my God, did he just cut his own trombone? I just go, for no reason? <laughs> yeah, actually, nobody even saw you unsheathe your <laughs> oh, sword. No, you do the, like, no, they just believe that you did. <laughs> hey, yeah, here's what you saw. Here's what you, here's what everyone else saw. They just saw my hand at the hilt of my cane sword and it just came out and back in. Just like, Ch-ch-ch. and then <laughs> a line shows up on the trumpet and it slides in half. How away. ironic, his trumpet exploded. <laughs> scary, did you, scary, did you cut the trumpet when you... Slice no. Oh, I guess I must have done it when I casted that wizard spell. It must have been another thing that my staff did. My hat's out covering my eyes, and I hear everyone else taking credit for it, and then just I like, get a little smirk. Like, oh. <laughs> 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 you did. That's very good. Shit, That's now, cool. Shit, now he is cool. That's God cool. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't see I credit. Should've... That's cool. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. The second you destroy his trumpet, Abe, he just screams, no! And uh, black tendrils begin to like bleed oh my God. from his eyes down, his, down his face. He goes, rah, 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 and he's shaking his head. He's just like thrashing around on the ground in anger and anger and anger. And he finally just collapses and stops moving and you're out of combat. And he's still breathing. 
but he's furious. And this item that could have been extremely useful to you is now uh, destroyed. <laughs> oh, shit, that would have been a quiet half Yeah, this time-stopping time item I was going to give you is now completely destroyed, and you can see it melt Who cares? We're black teenagers. Air. There's no such thing as time. Fax Shadow lies dying on yeah, the ground. Yeah, Fax Shadow, his <laughs> legs are fucked up, and he's on the ground. Somebody is, call a vet! I say, stand back! Normal <laughs> steps up to the horse and casts Cure Wounds on the horse. Oh, great. Um, your teammate great. Taylor sitting here, three out of 12 health, but sure, go hit the horse. Fax Shadow gets back up to its feet, grateful, and as is everyone's does dream. Does he bow? Like he does a bow, does a bow to you doing, specifically mm. normal. You hear harp music, like fucking. <laughs> yeah, you've been blessed. Some of your psychic damage is healed by knowing that a horse <laughs> loves you and respects you, which is all any of us could really ask for. <laughs> this horse truly loves this school. That is why the school spirit was able to heal it. I bow to you, Fax Shadow. That's its name, right? <laughs> <laughs> he, he bows and he nods a little bit too. He like he Man, recognizes. Man, I wish that we had an episode where we could just be horses. I'm pretty good at oh, horse noises call me. too. Call yeah, me. let's call. Yeah. You should. Elise just do a and horse I girl are going to have our own. Yeah, podcast. I was going to say, just make a horse girl <laughs> podcast. Horse girls. Yeah. <laughs> Your ID badges vibrate. May Hale shows up and she says, "It looks like you fixed the incursion." Okay, cool, great, good, good job. What should we do with Ape here? He's like, he got all like weird tenderly and he's just crying on the floor. Abe, you good, buddy? No, he's right. bad. He's evil. <laughs> he's unconscious. Oh. Maybe just put him in storage with like some of the old. <laughs> yeah, we put him in one of those cells. That feels ah. illegal. But uh, May says, I mean, we've got a bunch of free cells if you want yeah, to. Yeah, let's do that. Is he still going to be evil when he wakes up? And, or did it like go out of him? Do we have to tell his parents? You're the bosses. These are questions for you to I answer. Cast, I don't know. Uh, don't you, I cast my detect magic spell on him. So you can tell that there is a little bit of lawful evil still inside of him. Not enough to be sure that when he wakes up, he's going to want to start collecting parts of women again. <laughs> but certainly, <laughs> if he's not taken care of in the right way, that, now, that so, toxicity wait, wait, can... Collecting parts of women is lawful evil? Uh... I would yes, say so. <laughs> his, his law is that he's entitled to parts oh, of I see. women. Okay, okay. He's not chaotic. He's not doing it randomly. I get it. How yeah. evil was this kid before the doodler took over him? Does this seem like background level for Abe, or is this like... You get the sense from this that the doodler can't connect to somebody unless they're already heading down kind of a fucked up path that the doodler can latch onto and make a thousand times worse. So oh, that's interesting. He probably wouldn't have been going around collecting parts of women, but he was definitely going to be like, not a cool boyfriend. He was going to be like a creepy dude. <laughs> yeah, then let's That was going to be the worst part. Yeah. <laughs> what about my cheese? Oh, did she get them knocked Is out again? Is there an orthodontist in the house? Well, her parents are, right? Okay. Oh, here's my God, my teeth got knocked okay. out when Guys, I flew uh, here's what I think Get do. in the minivan, Scary. Let's bring you to your parents so that they can they can fix your teeth, and we should probably bring Abe to his parents, and we'll sit down and explain to, what's his last name? Ghoul. Ghoul will explain to his parents um, what he did, and, you know, we'll let them take care of it. Uh, yeah, it seems like people really don't, like, listen to us when we say the crazy stuff that Okay, happened. well, we're not going to kidnap a kid. Even if it, like, That's even true. If that also somebody. feels rowdy. I, I, I'm a little lost on what, what to do with this kid right now. Well, there is a secret dungeon in the school that only the popular kids know. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> no, but we have a secret dungeon, too. It's not, I, A lot of people got secret dungeons. <laughs> we got a secret dungeon, too. I just think we should give him back to his parents. Abe Ghoul starts thrashing around on the ground, and he goes, <laughs> The dance! The dance, you have to stop it. It's happening. Yes. The dance. The bigger problem is who's going to go to the dance with me when my teeth are like this? <laughs> and, then, and then Taylor, and then Taylor doffs his poor pie hat up and he goes, M'lady. <laughs>
Dungeons and Daddies is Matt Arnold as Lincoln Wilson, Anthony Birch as our DM, Will Campos as Normal Oak, Beth May as Scary Marlowe, and myself, Freddie Wong, as Taylor Swift. Special guest this week, Elise Willems, who played Erica Dribbins. Elise, what are you up to? Where can people find you? You can find me hanging with my friends at Dungeons and Daddies. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Or you can find me on Funhouse and Rooster Teeth every day. And you can also find me now appearing in Colock the new RPG from Hyper RPG. How do you spell that? K-O-L-L-O-K. You can watch it on Twitch at Fear HQ. We're also going to be doing more RPG stuff at Funhouse, too. Oh, that's cool. Thank you all so much for having me. I, I love doing stuff with all of you. Oh, I oh, love you, Elise. I love you, too. Our theme song is On My Way by Maxton Waller. It's available on his band camp, Pay What You Want. Brian Fernandez is our content producer. Ashley Nicolette is our community manager. Esther Ellis is our lead editor. Travis Reeves provides additional editing. And Robin Rapp is our transcriber. Special thanks this week to to our Patreon supporters. We thank them every week, but this week I'm specifically thanking Chris Herod, Trevor R., Garrett, Pip Price, Jackson Carboni, Mackenzie, Luke Kinneman, Tyler Dennis, Epop, Christopher Dawson, Jordan A., Diego Saiz, Gabriel Vergen, The Gigawatt, John Paul Castro, Nick Noke, Lamb Chop, Jacob Hatfield, Melissa Trong, and Eric Johnson. Directly support this show and get ad-free episodes at patreon.com slash Dungeons and Dads. And that's not all. There is a mountain of bonus content, bonus one-shots, videos. We have a Discord community. You could also get Anthony's DM notes, listen to uncut episodes. We put a lot of effort in making sure that the juice from our Patreon is worth that squeeze. So if you want more Daddy's content, you can have it all at patreon.com slash Dungeons and Dads. Our merch is store.dungeonsanddaddies.com. The deck of many things is still in stock for how long? Who knows? Head on over there, store.dungeonsanddaddies.com. We got enamel pins. We got t-shirts. All kinds of good stuff. Website, dungeonsanddaddies.com. Our Twitter, Dungeons and Dads. Our subreddit, Dungeons and Daddies. Our next episode comes out March 22nd, so we will see you then. Well, what is the natural villain of the trumpet? Rust. Oh, the rusty trombone. (laughs) (laughs) The old rusty trombone.